Hello class. In this tutorial, we will learn about the last uh, function of the what if analysis. So what was the last function? It was scenario manager. Now suppose our question is same. That is the car manufacturer is manufacturing 2000 cars per annum. Now in the question, you got four scenarios. That is in scenario A, the proportion sold in open market is 30%. The selling price in open market is 3 lakhs and fixed cost is 1 lakh. So in this question, now we have four different scenarios and three variables are keep on changing. So now we can't use goal C because we don't have any target in mind. We can't even use data tables because it has more than two variables. Because in data tables, we can use only up to two variables. That is one in column and one in row. But now we have three variables. What are the variables? Proportion sold in open market, unit price in open market, and fixed cost. So now we can't use both of these. And we will use the scenario manager. So in scenario manager, you don't have to prepare any table like this in your uh, Excel sheet. You can simply just reference the values from your question paper. So simply go to this what if analysis scenario manager. This type of format will open up. Now add first scenario name. This is this is scenario sorry scenario A. Now it is asking for changing cells. So this is what we want to change the cells. Which are the cells? First is proportion sold in open market. So this is the cell. Next is unit price in open market. That is, this is the cell. And now fixed cost. Fixed cost is this. So first you have to add the scenarios by chain, by telling the Excel that these are the three cells for which we will be adding the different scenario values. So after adding these cells, don't do anything, just simply click OK. And now we have to enter the values individually. So proportion sold in open market in our first scenario is 3%. That is 0.3. Then selling price in open market is simple 3 lakhs. And fixed cost is 1 lakh. OK. Now add different scenario. That is scenario B. Changing cells. The changing cells are same. That is B22, C25, and B27. So don't do anything. Just simply click OK. And now the values are 50%. That is 0 0.5. 3 lakh 50,000. 3 lakh 50,000. And 1 lakh 20,000. OK. OK. Now add the C scenario. Scenario C. Cells are same only. These are the three cells for which we want to substitute the values. Okay. Now the proportion is now 70%. This is 4 lakhs. And this is 1 lakh 25,000. Okay. Now the next is scenario D. Cells are same. Enter values as 100%. So 1, 4,50,000, 4,50,000, and 1,55,000. Okay. So after adding all the scenarios, you don't have to click show. What will, uh, what will you do? You will simply go to summary. Okay. And report type will be scenario summary only, but result set. What is result? Result is the total profit. So what is the total profit? This is this. I'm using this profit because I have used these cells. That is B22 and these. Okay. So you have to be sure that which cell you are using. Now we are, we know that total profit of this cell is using the formula which is referencing to these cells. That is B22 and C25 and D20, uh, B27. So we have to select this result cell. 
and now we have to simply use okay so now the summary uh, scenario summary table will be created in a separate tab it will create on its own and now you can see that is by changing the cells that is current values are 50% if this is 30% this is 3 lakhs this is 1 lakh the total profit is 32 crores and in scenario b it will be 39 crores 9, 98 lakhs and this and this so it will calculate on its own very simple so what if analysis constitutes three parts goal c when you have a target data table when only up to changes of two variables are to be analyzed and in scenarios we can analyze more than two variables by creating the different scenarios okay simple thank you